Imkan Properties is an Abu Dhabi-based real estate developer. Imkan has been mandated to create soulful places that will enrich people's lives. One of the first and most important projects for us at Imkan is the Maker's District. The Maker's District is a mixed-use development centered around the creative community. At the Maker's District, the artery is the heart of the project. The artery is a creative event space centered around artists, artisans, and creatives. Our company is going to be about a research platform that encompasses every area in life. It's technology, fashion, design, trends in general, social habits of people. So we looked into what makes a place. We went back to basics and we looked at how we were going to build a community. This is where we really came up with the idea of creating a maker's district. At this moment in history, makerspace is extremely important. We want to create a platform here that would actually start to produce more artists into Abu Dhabi. So Abu Dhabi doesn't just become a global displayer of art, but actually a global creator of art. In 10 years' time, the Makers District in Reem Island, Abu Dhabi, is going to be producing the artists who are going to showcase their art to Saudi Island, Paris, Miami, Hong Kong, and the world. 2454 is the Media Zone Authority, and it's the hub of media and entertainment in Abu Dhabi. So when a development like this comes along, and it's all about creativity, it's about makers, artists, being, living, working, breathing so close by to us, it actually complements what we do, and, and it's an exciting project to be involved in. So if we can provide a hub of community living, we are successful. We're at a moment now where we really feel that um, we're bearing the fruit of many uh, initiatives that came before us to really support artists here in the UAE. The idea of creativity and arts and inspiring this whole kind of cultural revolution is somewhat unique. In order to do this, Richard and I worked on this amazing brief that then went to some of the best brains in the world. So 2454's involvement in this is to produce a film. A film about the archery, which is phase one of this development. The film will see us traveling around the world, going to China, to New York, to London, and Rotterdam, and of course, in Abu Dhabi. And it will feature the architects, as well all the makers that could be involved and could come and be part of the Makers District and the archery. The archery is a good analogy for what this whole uh, project is going to be about. It's going to flow its energy through its arteries into every aspect of the Makers District. When it comes to office space, or hospitality, F&B, all of these will be affected by the artery and by the Makers. And London is, I think, um, in my opinion, the origin of the Makers District. I like chaos. <laughs> I like noise and the chance encounter of things. Usually, uh, inspiration comes in, in, in the most unexpected of spaces. It should, it should be real a magnet for the activities in the new neighborhood, in the Makers District. So it's not like you have in a museum. It's a very strict, uh, like you, almost clear or order, but it's more, uh, let's say, uh, almost a little bit anarchistic, where you say, well, this is the space, and you can do with it with, with what you like. The idea of making is about uh, precision, but also kind of eclectic thought process and trying to encourage discourse. It's a very new development and really it has to be very flexible. Uh, you know, it's, it's a, going to be a very changing environment. It's, it's a brand new development. Our design is not driven by some, some aesthetics. It's, it's more driven by the, the function or the future need uh, of the makers. I really do believe that we would be a catalyst to other real estate companies to develop projects that not only just have soul, but that are based on people's needs and desires and social habits of today. So when we came up with the idea for the Makers concept, one of the uh, things we wanted to look at was creating a real community for people. 
Now the makers brought that creative component and the soul to the development. And what we did, we brought the scale of the buildings down to four or five stories. Uh, we also looked at creating a very pedestrian friendly environment. So there, there's very little car movement through the core of the makers district. Actually, we went to architecture firms that have a process that is based on research. They research things and aspects, and from that comes the design. This is a new kind of maker's building, and I think it should also act as one, and therefore perhaps offer opportunities that you won't get in an old abandoned building. So you really create, uh, you could say, optimal uh, living conditions for any maker anywhere in that building. In our approach to the project, we, we try to look at it from the mindset of the makers. We always uh, take a certain amount of time to test several IDs. We never stick immediately to one ID and uh, assume this is the best. We have done a lot because we work in a quite iterative way and you sometimes have to do several steps before things meet each other. Things change continually, even in the two or three years that this gets built. You know, we want to keep this open palette for people to get, you know, come in and actually they can form the interior space themselves. We have focused a lot on, on creating a concept that is flexible enough so that the future users actually are able to adapt and to create spaces that, that they need for their designs and their creations. The building's almost like a Swiss army knife. You know, it's built to do a hundred things, but essentially it's, it still has a very simple, clean purpose of design. Because these are, are creative people we are talking about here, and they, um, they like unusual, quirky spaces, but also, um, be good that if our spaces, our architecture that we design encourages and fosters um, their creative inhabitation of the space, that these makers and artists can inscribe themselves, inscribe their desires, you know, onto the actual fabric of, of the building. If you're creating the most flexible building in the world where makers really want to live and you base your building on that, then your design will become timeless. So really from an urban context, uh, we find guidelines for our architecture. We create large open floors with uh, flexible users, and this is a perfect use of a building to test the limits of architecture. Creativity is continually moving, so you can't really design bespoke spaces. It's really about almost that kind of form of flexibility. This building can really attract uh, the makers to the site and really sort of kickstart this entire area. We heard from many artists and designers on the one hand, and also members of the community on the other hand, that in addition to all the great international art fairs and institutions that are opening, uh, they really also would like a place where they can really engage with local art making and local artists. You know, you go to Berlin, you go to New York, you go to London, you go to LA, you go to areas of the world where they're deprived industrial revolution leftover spaces that aren't functional anymore. And this isn't that place. This is a new place. See, what we're trying to do is uh, we want to provide a community. Maker's District is an attempt to create a differentiation. Actually, we think this project is very much going to complement uh, the whole Abu Dhabi tourism and cultural and entrepreneurial spirit that has been building over the past 50 years. We hope to carry this spirit forward and engage so many stakeholders, but most importantly, engage the makers in making the Makers District. That's our next step.